thank you very much for your presentations. And uh, we will begin by the fact that the Novadip missions aims to heal uh, tissue damage by the restorations of a natural physiology of the tissue. Not for simple defect, but for a complex defect in terms of critical size defect, complex microenvironment, and also by inaccessible tissue. And the mission aims by a platform, a micro RNA delivery platform called 3M3. The uniqueness of the Novadip technology is based on the creations of a micro environment for the cells with a complex and specific extracellular matrix in view to improve the cell's functions by specific release of growth factors and microRNA specially involved in the specific tissue in view to restore the functions but also the architectures of the native tissue. The specific profile of the macro-RNA released by the cells for the autologous product, by the matrix for the off-the-shelf and by the exosome in the cell-free product is tightly controlled by the combinations of stem cells, adipose stem cells, with specific particles in defined conditions media in view to create a complex and specific extracellular matrix environment for bone, skin, cartilage and muscles. We have universal combinations for every type of tissue regenerations. We have three class of product, the autologous one, with the main aim, the cells, in view to promote the release of growth factors and the microRNA for critical size defect, massive surgical reconstructions after a big trauma, after infections, after tumor resections, or in case of orphan rare pediatric indications, such as congenital pseudarthrosis of the tibia in bone. But you can also have massive skin destruction in skin, for example, in massive burn scare, or also for a deep thickness resections with a giant navy in young child. The second class is an off-the-shelf allogenic product. It's a particles and enriched by matrix. We have no viable cells. It's for small defects, but for complex environments. For example, in bone, for a maxillofacial environment with infections and inflammations, but also eventually in a very complex chronic diabetic wounds area. And finally, we have the cell-free approach, only the exosome, only the secretome of the autologous product for inaccessible tissue and can be used for local injection or systemic delivery for treatments like osteoporosis or in treatments also of tumor cells proliferation control, such as a melanoma or an osteosarcoma. Currently, it's clear from 2013 to 2020 now, the life of Novadip, we, are, we have already a clinical expertise. We transplanted more than 45 patients for bone reconstructions and six patients with skin following compassionate use, but also in clinical trials, especially for the autologous product. You can see that our first bone product is already involved in a phase 1 to a spine fusions clinical trial. For and the second generations of the product, we are ongoing and the study is now completed in terms of recruitment for patients with bone non-unions in long bone. And finally, we plan to start at the middle of 2020 the new program of the congenital, uh, congenital pseudarthrosis of the tibia in young patients for a rare pediatrics orphan indications. We are also able to now to begin the tech transfer to move in clinical trials with the skin autologous program, also for critical size tissue defects. And we are in development and preclinical in vivo and in vitro development with the off-the-shelf and the cell-free product. For the autologous product, the main door to demonstrate the robustness of our platform, you can see that we have the first product for the bone reconstructions. It's like a plasticine that you can put directly into a large bone defect, as you can see here with NVIDIA 1 and NVIDIA 3. And we have also exactly the same philosophy uh, with the NVIDIA 002 for the skin reconstructions. 
It's an example of uh, our technology was based for large bone defects that to avoid amputations in three kids here that was after tumor sections and we, we demonstrated now that after eight years of transplantations we have no safety concern in an oncological context and you can see a complete fusion and it returns to a normal life of this young child performing now a uh, university uh, journalism study. We have also a young kid that we transplanted two years before that was a congenital giant, uh, co congenital pseudarthrosis of the tibia. You can see the disruptions of the tibia. The, the, the kids cannot walk on it without pain. And after two years, we have a complete fusions and restorations of the bone structures and he walks without any pains. And it was confirmed in a new case with uh, massive reconstructions with a total defect of the tibia. And after six months, we have directly reconstituted the continuity into the bones. But now it's clear that we are not only in bone for critical size tissue defect, but also for autologous one, since we demonstrated in a very severe preclinical animal models that we can cure and gain a time of large, deep thickness skin lesions in Wistar rates. We have a gain of 30% of total restitutions of the dermis and the epidermis. We now move to the clinical trials in view to demonstrate the safety and the efficacy in a split skin graft donor site replacement in view to demonstrate rapidly that we have a potential for a large critical size skin defect with our NVD002 product. Now we move in the next generations. The autologous product is really our door to open and to demonstrate the, the robustness of our platform. But we decided to move with a new approach and a unique approach of, of an off-the-shelf tissue engineer product. Since in our case, we use the autologous approach, but we removed the cells in view to have a particles enriched with specific extracellular matrix and protein, with specific growth factors and microRNA, which can be involved in bones re regeneration for a small complex defect here. It's really the, the uh, an attractions of the cells in view to promote the restitutions of the tissue. Even if you are in an immunological context, we, in, we have no rejections and the product is an off the shelves, can be used 20, daily, 24 hours per 24 hours. It can be stored at room temperature and the surgeons can use when you desire. Therefore, we move not only on the matrizome, but on the secretions of the autologous product called the exosome. And the exosome is based on the specific microRNA profile that we obtain with our autologous product. We demonstrated that the microenvironment with the extracellular matrix conditions specifically the microRNA profile. And for example, from NVD003 for the bones reconstructions, we know that the microRNA can elicit the differentiations of mesenchymal stem cells towards bones formations control also the bone's resorptions and could be used, therefore, in case of osteoporosis treatment, for example. But we know also that for our platform, that we have also specific productions of microRNA in view to, uh, to reduce the cellular proliferations. And in our hands, we demonstrated currently with very aggressive osteosarcoma, we can reduce by this microRNA the proliferations by 25% of the cellular turnover. It's clear that our platform, which is a clinical value, but also a potential of new product value, have the potential to address an unmet needs with multi-billions market size. You can see that for Bones autologous program, we can achieve the first sale of our product in 2025, but we can obtain also in a very niche market, a peak sale of 500 millions of euros. It's feasible. It's really the, the, the door to open before to move to the skin product and to also to the off the shelf and the cell free, which represent a significant broader market than the Olotogus one. But it's really our door to demonstrate the robustness of the platform. And the robustness was mainly demonstrated by the manufacturing because the autologous product, you know, the variability between individual. And uh, we demonstrated for the first clinical trials that we, in 100% of case, we obtain the final tissue. 
the most important things too, that's the fact that the shelf life of our autologous product is more than 96 hours when it's removed from the incubator. And therefore, you can transfer and transport the graft towards the patients without any concern. You can transport at room temperature without any problems. Therefore, if you have a patient in San Francisco, you can pick the adipose tissue, transfer to Belgium, we produce the product and go back to the patients without any problems. It's the demonstrated that you can have a one side of manufacturing to distribute worldwide. The story is really built by a strong team in terms of manufacturing uh, development, in terms of business development, in terms of portfolio development, because now we have eight products uh, patented with one totally granted worldwide. And now it's key that the key message that I have for you today, it's clear that we can provide new treatment options for unmet needs to demonstrate also that the autologous is really the, the door which can demonstrate the robustness of our platform in view to move forward their new indications. And finally, Osville's key advantage can significantly de-risk the investment since now we are at the key moment of our life because we move to the round B and to achieve all the platform for the tech transfer from preclinicals to clinicals, we need a mean of 50 million of euros to achieve in 2023 really the change of our company. Thank you very much for your attentions. <laughs>